wish to acknowledge that we are on land that, at the time of contact, was held by the Atawandran as an area of trade and ceremony by the two rivers. At various times, the land was occupied by both the Hadunishani from the south and the Anishinaabe from the north. In more recent times, the Huron Treaty gave rights to the Mississaugas of new credit. In a spirit of reconciliation, we seek to respect the history, the spirituality and the culture of indigenous peoples and seek a new relationship with the original people of this land. One based in honour and deep respect. May we who dwell on or visit these lands and waterways also be good stewards and honour those who came before us. And may our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. We gather to worship with expectations, God revealed in new and astonishing ways. God comes to us in real time. God comes to us in dreams. Sometimes God's presence is hard to take in, difficult to believe. Oh God, we long to believe help or unbelief. God is present here. God is working in our midst. Then our mouths are filled with laughter. Our tongues shout out with joy. Shine your light on us, God, as we gather around your word. By your spirit, make our lives fertile ground in which your word takes root and grows. This passage speaks not only of the southern kingdom Judah and its homecoming from exile in Babylon, but also of the northern kingdom, Israel or Ephraim, and its restoration. The northern tribes of Israel had been lost in exile to Assyria more than a century before Jeremiah prophesied. For thus says the Lord, sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chiefs of the nations. 
Proclaim, give praise and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth. Among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labour, together. A great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water, in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. Bartimaeus comes to Jesus with faith, asking that he might see again. Recognizing Jesus' identity, Bartimaeus is the first person to call him Son of David in the Gospel of Mark. They came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And as they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and followed him on the way. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
together and apart, we come together and offer our prayers in trust, in hope, with compassion for ourselves and all whom we are called to serve. Let us pray. Set free from sin and death and nourished by the word of truth, we join in prayer for all of God's creation. Risen One, we give you thanks for congregations and ministries throughout the world that serve as centers of prayer and action. Empower missionaries, teachers, healers, evangelists, and all who are sent to share your song of joy. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Holy One, we give you thanks for generous land that produces abundant harvests. Strengthen and protect all soils from rooftop gardens to prairie farmlands, to patio planters, to fertile valleys, and bless all who lovingly tend them. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Ruling One, we give you thanks for leaders of nations who work to build up the common good. Strengthen efforts of reconciliation among all nations, that peace extends in every direction. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Healing One, we give you thanks for all who labor for the health of others. Comfort and strengthen all who struggle with chronic pain. Send healing and relief to all who are sick. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Providing one, we give you thanks for all who provide for others. Inspire generosity in your people so that we carry out the work of making disciples of all nations. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Living One, we give you thanks for the saints who have increased our faith. Give us courage to follow in hope until you gather us all around your table Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Confident that you hear us, O oh God, we boldly place our prayers into your hands through Jesus Christ, our truth and life. Amen. Let us join together praying this meditation on the Lord's Prayer. Abba, Amma, Beloved, your name be hallowed, your reign spread among us, your will be done well at all times, in all places, on earth as in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Let us not fail in the time of our testing. Spare us from trials too sharp to endure. Free us from the grip of all evil powers. For yours is the reign, the power and the glory, the victory of love for now and eternity, world without end. Amen and Amen.
love wholeheartedly, live as you were created, be God's people in our fragmented world. Amen. Thank you.